dear students we are in the final part of the uh, uh, the wrist so we will finish this part and uh, then you will be giving me an assignment and next part we will starting the hand so uh, in the wrist so the continuing from the 10th part we are in the 11th part now so the ecrl that is extensor carpi radial is longest muscle inserts into the more radial second metacarpal so the uh, compared to the acrb it is into the more into the radial side therefore has a smaller momentum for wrist extension than does the ecrb that is the extensor carpi radialis previous muscle the extensor carpi radialis longus muscle shows increased activity when either radial deviation or supported against ulnar deviation is required or when forceful finger flexion motions are performed so whenever the forceful finger flexion movements are performed the extensor carpi radialis longus is acting more excessive activity means more aggressive activity of the or ex, uh, increased uh, torque production of the ecr may, muscle makes it vulnerable to overuse so ecrb you have to remember that it is it is uh, in a mostly used muscle so overuse and inflammation leading to lateral epicondylitis otherwise called as tennis elbow so the in tennis elbow the lateral epicondylitis it is happening because it's the inflammation of the tendon of the extensor carpi radialis brevis muscle which is excessively used the other muscle is the extensor carpi ulnaris muscle which extends and ulnarly deviates the wrist because it is a ulnaris muscle ulnar deviation of the while during extension it is an extension extensor muscle of the wrist also as a Uh, ulnar deviation muscle uh, along with the flexor carpi ulnaris the connection of the extensor carpi ulnaris tendon sheath to the tfcc that is a triangular fibrocartilaginous complex also appears to help a tether the ifu muscle and prevent loss of excursion efficiency with posturing so the ex the ecu muscle that is extensor carpi ulnaris muscle along with the tfcc which we have already studied helps in preventing posturing mechanism the extensor digitae minimae which is a extensor muscle of the small little finger and the extensor indicis muscle insert into the tendons of the edc so that means that they don't have separate tendon they are inserting norm i already told you that the extensor digitorum communis is a main muscle of finger extensor of the uh, ma, uh, hand so they have four tendons going to each four fingers so in the extensor digitorum minimae will attach to the tendon of the edc of the little finger the extensor indicis proprius will attach to the tendon of the edc to the extensor finger the extensor indicis proprius and extensor digitae minimae muscles are capable capable of extending the wrist even though their main function is extension of the fingers of the hand they also can act as the secondary extensors of the wrist joint the edc which is a main finger extensor muscle but functions also as a wrist extensor and without radial or if you if you do a radial or ulnar deviation then if you try to do a extension of the wrist then edc cannot work because edc is placed in a, in a neutral level in the midline so it can act as a mainly action is extension of fingers but it can also act as a wrist extensor if there is no radial or ulnar deviation pause present three extrinsic thumb muscles cross the wrist joint the apl that is the abductor pollicis longus the extensor pollicis brevis and the extensor pollicis longus so you have one abductor muscle of the thumb which is abductor pollicis longus and two extensor muscles of the thumb which is one is brevis and one is longus the more centrally when you uh, the in the earlier figure if you see children note note that the extensor pollicis uh, tendon is almost placed near the palmaris uh, sorry it placed near the edc extensor digitorum communis 
so because of that presence they are centrally located and have a much much notable role in the wrist so dear students uh, we are today i'm completing here uh, this uh, with here this is the final part of the wrist so in the uh, wrist now we are going from the wrist to the hand next session onwards we will be starting the hand complex which is very very important try to read all the portions in the whatever i have taken in the wrist and submit an assignment uh, on uh, uh, saturday uh, this saturday uh, by uh, regarding the muscles of the wrist so you submit a assignment with two figures that is volar uh, wrist musculature and dorsal wrist musculature and the biomechanics which i have taught you uh, by saturday send it to my email thank you